We are now entering into the final phase of the project by disabling the AD query identity source. So we observe carefully what is happening while both identity sources are active. We observe new user events. Then we disable the AD query. And finally, we change the group membership query credentials. Note that the identity session that we are observing, the identity session for Alice, is still learned by the identity source AD query. So now we are using both identity sources, AD query and identity collector. We don't expect any traffic issue because still the access hall is matching for Alice on this computer. So what is happening if now a new user is logging on our computer that we are observing while we are having identity collector and AD query enabled. We see that the machine session is now learned via the identity collector and we have a user session for the user Bob matching the sales role learned by the identity source AD collector. And we have another basic user session matching the same access role based on the AD query. So again, traffic sourced by this IP address will be handled according to sales access role object. Checking the log message, we can see the same information. It's a login event for the user Bob reported by the identity source identity collector. There's another aspect we need to keep in mind. We remember for AD query, we defined that only one user is assumed per computer. There's a similar setting for the identity collector, and that's controlled using the identity conciliation command. We see that currently multiple users on one machine is not enabled. So let's see what is happening if we disable AD query from the system. While we install policy, we observe carefully our identity session to understand if there might be any impact on traffic on this IP address related to the access role object that we are observing. We notice there is no impact. The identity session created for the user Bob for, on this IP address is still active and valid. We recall and keep in mind that the group membership query is done by the security gateway using the information here from the LDAP account unit object. This object was created while we have been using AD query. So AD query was disabled on the gateway object. We now need to disable it here on the object for the LDAP group membership queries. So we flag off the WMI service. And of course, we used to have a user ID that is part of the domain users. Now this is no longer needed. And we can use another user that has just regular user rights. So we updated the credentials and go ahead and install the security policy. We observe now login events for the user Alice on the client machine. And we see that the identity session is having the correct access role assigned. So traffic is matching as expected. Everything works as 
we expect the product to work 